What's about you, my new friend? Mistral's houses cast deep shadow, and vipers lurk in tall grass. Mistral is the jewel of the southern seas, a free port to trade ties to half of Tamriel. Ambassadors from the Dominion arrived weeks ago to negotiate its admission into the Alliance. Unfortunately, things have not gone smooth. Kenarty's Roost has an old fleet to devour. They claim the Dominion fleet intended to invade their home waters. It's a sticky point for negotiations. The Sylvanar could use some help. Find him, give him this token. You know you are friend. Without his support, the Dominion will have precious little defense on the southern coasts. But we are not here to conquer anyone. The Sylvanar knows this. He is in the chancery, seeking a peaceful resolution. Diplomacy with capitulation. He's inside with the rest of them, pretending this won't end in bloodshed. Go, see this farce for yourself. Your pardon, friend. The Dominion's arrival on Kanathi's roost has upset the locals. It falls on me to smooth the waters. Please, help yourself to food or drink. I'm happy to speak with you once this matter is settled. Most unexpected. It seems we have a mutual friend. May I ask, what brings you to Mistral? Then perhaps you can advise me on a small matter. The Maoma have a treaty with Kanathi's roost. This is nothing to fear. A treaty is something I can work with. Yet neither Ambassador Ulondil nor Headwoman Harani will produce a copy. Indeed, why not? It would be indecorous to suggest the treaty is anything but actual and sound, yet I fear it won't present itself without a more active line of inquiry. Would you be my voice in this with Ambassador Ulondo and Headwoman Harani? Exactly. A chorus of requests may succeed in carrying the tune. Harani in particular seems eager to see this resolved. of the new faces since the hurricane, but I don't believe we've met. Welcome to Mistral. May your stay here be full of warm winds and soft sand. And I told him the mere act of doing so would complicate matters with our longtime Maomer allies. They take great offense to the Dominion's claims upon our island. Look around you. What great armies do you see? Our survival depends on knowing when to fight and when to please. The treaty brought us prosperity for generations. I will not be the one to break it. We upheld our treaty with the people of Kanathi's Roost for generations. And this is how they repay our kindness? We will not allow high elf thieves to gain a foothold in our territorial waters. By all rights, this is our island. Harani's people occupy it with our blessing. If she breaks the treaty, so breaks our troops. We'll take back our island, and the Khajiit will pay the price. We keep a copy on an island far from here. I see no reason to send for them. I won't allow high elf wharf rats another chance to take our rightful lands. Why don't you bother Harani for her copy? Any luck securing a copy of the treaty? And there's little chance for compromise. I'll call a break in formal talks until everyone calms their nerves. 
You understand the stakes, yes? It's why I ask you to take a more active role in locating the treaty. I don't do so lightly. I can't allow the Dominion's first act on Kanathi's roost to be one of conquest. I understand our mutual friend prefers the rum served at a nearby tavern. Perhaps he would have ideas on securing a copy of the treaty. It's a name, a title, and our holy city. Quite an honor to carry around such an important word and the occasional burden in its confusion about something. A silver knife. Seems like it's been such a short while, but the wrinkles on my face tell me differently. Or did you mean as Dominion Envoy? I've taken on diplomatic tasks for our fledgling alliance since its inception. So, not very long at all. A freshly grown group still without blame. On behalf of the Bosnian people, it's my goal to keep it that way. If you speak with the Green Lady, don't mistake her man as distaste for the Dominion. you have no firm connection to the Dominion. The Optimist says it's because you have proven yourself more than capable already. When you have the treaty, meet both of us at the bridge. Can you not feel the hatred that burns within One its belly? It. Bars barely contain its hunger. to a proper ship. So, he's actually doing his job. Most of the time he's writing a love letter to some pretty place in town. Zadi or Zami or something. He's a fool, crow's nest, searching the horizon for any sign of her love. I 
I didn't want to. The spring is the Silvanar is certainly being watched by the Mauer. You should inform him the treaty is safe. He will know what to do next. The Silvanar and the Green Lady are being put up in the armor. Uh, this one recommends you not for him. Green Lady gets jumped inside the At a quick glance, there are holes in the The Silvanar worries at them. The tree, not in Barcelona. until she does. Now go! Go! Get them while they're hot. New weapons and armor for you. Ask Ladrolas about his private business. Sylvanar desires, but I already told you, we cannot provide him with our copy of the treaty. Dead, but he was just here. What happened? How awful. Who would harm such a peaceful creature? My guards saw nothing. We doubled the watch to ensure safety. I cannot abide the Sylvanar's murder in my town. I'll shut down the port if I have to. None sets sail until his killer is brought to justice. Of course, I hereby declare you a deputy of the Mistral Guard. No door shall be barred to you. On my desk, you will find the most recent reports from the Mistral Guard. You are welcome to review them for any inconsistencies that could lead to the killer's capture. The Sylvan are murdered? These treacherous Khajiit have plotted with the Mawamur to slay our noble envoy. How dare you! The Sylvanar was our guest. Go too far, Vice-Lee. Outrageous! More Dominion treachery! I will it's conduct my own oh. investigation. Five gold! Jeez, the end to it, nice! Be in the
get off my ship before I throw you off. And I need a new rigging and a serving wench. Too bad for us both. Now get off my deck before I throw you off. Well, that's a serving wench. Three minutes. If my sailors see your hands where they shouldn't be, I'll keel haul you myself. Trouble. Killing the Sylvanar was foolish. The Green Lady and the Sylvanar shared a life bond. She has little time to avenge you, for she too will die. And the Green Lady is a most dangerous creature. But then, you have that spring in your stride again. What have you learned? The Mauer plot something. But what? The apothecary sold Daedra blood in these specific amounts? That would explain the strange liquid upon the... Oh, no. Bright moons, no. This is a sample of the vile cloud from around the Sylvanar's body. Bring it to the Green Lady. Tell her it killed her beloved. As for the rest, Harani will see what you found. We must move like Kenarthi herself is at our backs. <laughs>
had to be removed. I've heard enough. His orders. I just ordered. What? You mean the apothecary? I assure you, he was never in my employ. Uh, well done. It doesn't matter now. The green lummox and her idiot husband lie dead. There's nothing you can do to stop it. You're lying. She must be dead, or else she'd have come for me. She's coming for me, isn't she? I... I'm a duly appointed ambassador of the Maoma people. The grounds of the embassy are sacrosanct, according to our treaty. The tempest is coming. You cannot stop it. This is madness. There has been enough death in this city. This does not excuse mindless slaughter. We are better than our... I trust you. Island from any reprisals, Maomar or otherwise. Kinar. Hey, Slowpaw, 